But I'm running a couple minutes behind. Well, actually, it's 10 o'clock right now, but it's having problems connecting to the Wi-Fi. Morning. If you're seeing me live, we're here for Silver Sneakers. I'm going to repeat a workout from a couple weeks ago. A little modification, some little cardio abs, and then some um, multi-body uh, part strength moves. I got a really light weight, and then I got kind of a medium weight. So today that's three pounds and eight pounds. Morning. Make sure you have water, modify where you need to, do the whole workout standing if you like, sit down if you like the whole time, or do a little bit of both like I'm gonna do. Give you another minute, we'll get started. Get my music. going to get started. If you can't catch me live, catch me on the repeat. You'll see it on the Tahoma Athletic Club Facebook page. Make sure you like or comment so I know who is joining. We are going to go. All right. March it out. It's going to scooch back a little. March. March it wide. Sorry. In, out, in, out, in, out. Center heels, bicep curl. Toe taps, tap behind. Reach, 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 reach. Remember to go at your own pace. Four, three, two, one. March it. Left foot leads. Four, three, two. March it wide. Keep marching. Morning. Hi, Jane. Four, three, two. March it in for two. One, two. Out, two. In, two. Out, two, in, two, out, two again. Last time. Singles, in, out, in, out. Don't forget to breathe. Hi, Marguerite.
four, three, two, one. Tap behind, out of reach, reach. Who's that? Hi, Meg. Glad you're joining. You were a little under the weather, I think I read. Four, three, two, one. Hold it center, feet wide. Squat down. Reach up. Four, three, two, one. Hold it in that squat. Arm circles forward. Four, three, two, one. Now shift. Shift right and left. Four, three, two, one. Hold right. Reach up and over. Switch. Hold left. Reach up and over. And bring it up, arm circles backwards, out of side step. Add in a little bit more cardio today than we normally do. Just a little. Four, three, two, one. Feet wide, squat down. Reach up. Two, one, hold that squat down, squeeze those hands, add a pulse, a little hand work, warming up those legs, squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach, two, one. Bring it in, lift those heels, four, three, two, one, hold those feet still, big arm circles like you're taking a swim, reverse, what we got there, hi Marilyn, four, Three, two, one. Take a deep breath. Inhale. One more. All right, grab a drink of water if you need to. Just start with some abs. All right, we're standing here. So we got our bird dogs and a punch with a twist option to add a set of light weights on that punch and twist. I'm going to use three pounds. All right, so if you're adding weights, have them ready. Otherwise, we're going to stand close to that chair. I'm going to stand to the side so you can see positioning. So I'm bringing my right leg straight out My behind me. My left arm comes out in front of me. Abs are pulled in, hips square to the ground. That standing knee slightly bent, not locked. We're holding it here. And we switch, nice and slow. So left leg out, right arm out. Let's move it a little bit.
can sit, I'm going to stand up, but you can sit on your chair and twist and punch. I'm going to stay standing, wide base of support here, punch, punch and twist. Weights or no weights? Take this at your own pace. Abs are in. Work in that upper body. Those abs. A little bit of cardio, maybe. Play on your pace. Four, three, two, one. Now two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Keep it going. Four, three, two. And one. All right, going back through that. All right, hang on to that chair if you need it. Move it to the side so you can see my form. Right leg back, left arm in front. Nice neutral neck, abs in, hips square. Switch. Moving a little faster, so of course at your own pace.
four, three, two, and one. Fire up those abs. All right. Exhale as you squeeze. Exhale. Exhale. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Let's raise that heart rate up, although that raised my heart rate up a little bit because I'm moving that whole body. Modified jumping jacks. Here we go. Tap out, add an arm. So normal jumping jacks are like this, lots of bouncing and silver sneakers. We're here. If you want to sit on that chair, you're here. Keep going. Woo. Hi Barbara, Frida. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. One more time through. Back to that oblique crunch. Arm up, squeeze, knee out to the side. That hand that's on that chair shouldn't be heavy on the chair leaning over. Nice and light, just there for balance support in case you start to topple over. Two more. The last one, switch sides. Woo. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Modified jumping jacks, almost done with this round. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab a drink of water. standing crunch and then we'll sit on the chair. All right, the right left side of that chair. Hang on to that chair. Our left toes coming back. We're crunching. Crunch. So instead of the knee coming out like we did on the last round, it's coming forward. Getting those lower abs.
Right knee up. Four, three, two, and one. Back to that B step. This time, left leg leads. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Grab a drink if you need to. We're going to take a seat on that chair for the next round. Cross, 
and front, whatever feels good. Option to add an alternating knee. Keep that chin away from your chest. Four, three, two, and one. Come forward. Whew. All right. Knees up. A little cardio. Lift those knees up. You can stay here. That's perfectly fine. Or you can add clap underneath those legs, getting that whole body, if you're adding those arms, of course your heart rate's going to come up a little higher. If you can't quite reach underneath those legs, but you want to add in some arms, just tap the top of your knees. Keep that upper body nice and upright. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. One more time through. Then we're done with this abs and cardio. We're gonna do a little bit more strength. All right, place those arms where they feel just right. Lean back. Adding in the alternating knee if that feels good. Or keep both feet on the floor. Only come back as far as you're comfortable without feeling lower back tension and pain. Four, three, two, and one. All right, back to those knees. Add in, so in those arms if you like. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab a drink of water. We're gonna do a little bit more strength. So we're going to need a pair of dumbbells if you got them. Our first round is going to be standing up. All right. You can grab one weight. I'm going to grab my eight pounds. All right. Lunge, hammer curl and a shoulder raise. So come back by that chair if you need support. Right foot steps back. We're gonna lunge down, hammer curl, front raise. Lunge, hammer curl, front raise. Make sure that knee stays behind that toe on that lunge. Both toes are pointed forward. On that hammer curl, dumbbells up toward the ceiling, shoulder raise, just to shoulder level, no higher. to that chair. That's a little bit more balance if you let go since our footing is off center. That right there adds some balance when your feet are off center there. How about two more? Switching sides. All right. 
Left foot comes back, dumbbells in your right hand. Lunge down, hammer curl, front raise. Two more. Last one. Other side. Right, right foot goes back, toes pointed forward, hips square. Here we go. Lunge down. Front raise. Lunge down. Hammer, front raise. Do two rounds through on these scrape moves. Last one. Switch sides, toes pointed forward, all right, here we go, lunge down, watch those knees, those knees start hurting, make the move smaller. Two more. Last one. All right, we're going to take a seat. Grab both dumbbells. Triceps and calves. Sit up nice and tall. Start with one dumbbell, elbow locked into your side. A little hinge in those hips. Press it back. Stay there. Press it back. Elbows in one spot. Just moving that lower arm. Pause at the top. Pause. Release. Pause. Release. Pause. Release. Keep going. Two. And one. Switch arms. Elbow locked in. Here we go. Press back. Pause. Release. Pause. Release. Two, and one, 
switch sides, lock that elbow in, here we go. Keep those necks neutral. good for your body. Squeeze. 
On the next round of those deadlifts and wide row, we are going to add them together. Of course, always an option to do a few reps of deadlift, a few reps of the row, if it's too much for you to put them together. Two, and one. Take a breath, we got one more round and then we are stretching almost to the end. You guys are doing a great job, I know you are. Hi Carol, can you make it to the end? All right, all right. We'll start with a few reps of deadlifts then we'll add in that row. Dumbbells in front, toes pointed forward, soft knees. Here we go, abs in, down to the knees. It's not a fast movement. Take your time on these deadlifts. All right, we're gonna deadlift, row, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four more. Two more. Last time. All right, we're there. Set those weights down. We'll start our stretch standing up, then we'll move to the chair. All right, let's start, stretch our quadriceps first. You can hang on to that chair. You can grab that ankle the, or the top of that foot. Knees stay together and stretch out that hip flexor and quadricep. If that's too much and you can't get that foot up there, you can just simply bend it. You can use a towel to grab it. You can grab your pant leg or you can rest it up on that chair. Switch legs. Let's get those hamstrings while we're standing up. Find something for support if you have that chair. If you reach on to the back of that chair. Those feet are wide, so wide leg forward fold. Sitting those hips back, hinging at the hips, only going as far forward as you're comfortable, where you feel a nice stretch in those hamstrings. Holding it here. Taking a few deep breaths here, helping to lengthen those stretches. Releasing tension. One more deep breath here, inhale. On that exhale, you're gonna slowly rise up. Bring those feet together, take a seat. Open up that chest, clasp those hands or grab the back of that chair or place them on your lower back. Hold it here. Take a deep breath here, inhale, exhale. Release those hands, grab those hands in front of you, press away, stretching out that upper back and the back of those shoulders.
Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your right arm across your body. You're welcome, Mick. Left arm across. Release. Sit back in that chair. Bring that right knee up. Let's rotate our ankle out here. Add a little point and flex if that feels good. So work in that ankle around. Keeping it mobile. Cross that ankle over the opposite leg, just above that knee. Open up that hip, stretching out your inner and outer thigh and your glutes here. If that's too much to get your knee up, you can cross at the ankles and lean forward to try to get into that stretch. Switch sides, left knee comes up, rotate, point and flex. Cross that ankle over, open up that hip. Let's take another couple deep breaths. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, bring them down. One more. All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you have a, had a good workout. I'll be back again at my normal time next week on Monday. And stay cool this weekend. It's going to be a hot one. All right. Bye, guys.